114. Hi, welcome to the channel, it's Mike. In this video, I was using my Mark 3 with the slug line A, shooting 31 grain Inferno rebated bottle slugs at 1005 average. Okay, so the settings for this gun was a valve adjuster, uh, about one and a half mil past the last line. Um, unfortunately, I turned that valve adjuster out very far and my gun started leaking eventually. Asked some questions and some guys said you should not turn it further than three millimeters behind the last line. I, I tend to, to believe them because uh, when I started leaving it at max two behind that line, uh, the leak stopped. Unfortunately, I, 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 well, I stripped the gun to repair the leak, but also found that behind that spring, the hammer spring, these, uh, there should be two washers because I bought it as a slug gun with a power kit, but there's only one wash in it, unfortunately. And also on the O rings, it goes over the liner between the liner and the, the housing. There was a thread tape on those O rings, so I don't know what happened there, but anyways. Yes, yeah, so a micro wheel 12, micro wheel just past 4, and of course, as I said, that valve adjusts uh, 1.5 mil about max 2 uh, past that last line. And the regulator pressure 142.5. I know what the wind is doing. Okay, so those previous shots were all 224. Uh, it was very overcast, it was raining, so the footage was bad. The next two shots were at 218. You will see one of them, the sun was shining, so the footage is much, much better. Uh, the, those eagle visions, uh, as they say, only get 75% of the camera. So if there's any shade, then footage is not good at all. But look at the difference between when it's overcast and when there's least some sun. That's it, end of video. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you'll be joining me on the next one.